What up, randomies? It's your boy, Gizmo GX, and welcome to week 10 of the IBA season 4, where in this week, we are taking on Helios, coach of the San Jose Rimpardos. I mean, San Jose Sharpedos. I always butcher it. Oh my god, I've done like 10, 20 takes of this video already, and I always butchered it every single time. So this is our final opponent, and I'm gonna say, it was pretty intense. And as a matter of fact, this video is going to be a voiceover. So I wanted to point that out because during this video, I had technical issues. Well, computer issues on my end. So I only managed to record up to the first six minutes, which is this is how long this video is going to be. So with that, let's get on to the match and talk about the teams that we brought on both my end and our opponent's end. So the team that I brought was Landorus, Therian, Form, Scizor, Conkelder, Reuniclus, Weezing, and Incineroar. Now, I like most of the coaches that I've seen most of their videos, they go on explaining of why the sets they brought. I'm a, I'm that 1% of of the IBA where I just ring the teams because I feel like it like it looks interesting. Move set, kind of standard, and then just tweak it a little bit to uh, our opponent's um, team and what we're up against. And honestly, that's all I do. I mean, I don't think like, oh, I have this move for this case, a scenario. I mean, I think at the moment I do think that, but I just like, when it comes to these videos, I don't even know why half of the time, like for example, uh, Thunderous, I mean, Landorus, I actually have, I'm running Iron Tail. And the reason I run Iron Tail is because I thought of situations so with like, uh, what was it? It has Grimstar, our opponent has Grimstar. So before I go into jump into that, the reasons like that, I should just mention our opponent's team. So our opponent actually brought in Buzzawo. Celestila, Zygarde, Thunderous Tyrion, and Grimmsnarl, and Slow King Galar. Now, going back to my point what I was making earlier. So, for Landorus, I ran Iron Tail, which, which is funny because the moveset was Earthquake, Knockoff, Stone Age, Iron Tail, which you probably saw earlier on the video. And I find this really hilarious because I was like, when I was in the match, I didn't have U Churn. I was like, why don't I have U Churn? I was like, oh, I forgot. I'm a dumbass. I actually put. Uh, I replaced it for Iron Tail, so I don't have access to like initiative, U-turn, but regardless of this match, I think my boy played super well, so even if I did have U-turn, I could have been easily predicted. So like, literally, from the first turn, he used Substitute, and I was thinking he assumed I was going to U-turn out, but unfor uh, I actually, unfortunately, uh, I used Earthquake instead, so yeah. And the rest of the moveset are pretty standard, I've been having the same scissor from last week, uh, Conkelder. Still the same set Assault Vested as Reuniclus, Tango Berry. Actually, this one was rather interesting. This slow bro right here, I, I'm i super proud of its performance that it had in this season. Or at, least, or at least in this match anyways. Because he had, I mean, she had a pivotal moment in this. Even though it was very short and it was, I'm wondering how Helios took it. Uh, I was hoping to sweep, but I didn't have the necessary movesets to do so. And yeah, but Sugumi did complete one mission, which I'll go a little bit later on into the video. But yeah, let's go on to the rest of the team. I brought in uh, Weezing, Sh uh, aka Shiden, uh, running the Black Sludge, same set. I always like to run Pain Split just for the freak of it. I mean, I think my idea with Pain Split was to like be at super low health and our opponent is like a stalling fest mon. So I was just like, let me sack all that HP off. And that was the idea behind uh, Weezing, and there's that. that's all there is to it. Now, moving on to the final one, uh, Incineroar. This was another Assault Vest mod. I believe that I had two Assault Vested ones. Yes, I had two Assault Vested, and this was Intimidated, and this was another wall. It's, well, it's not really that much of a wall, but it, you get the point. It was rocking that Fire Punch, Darkest Lariat, Brick Break. Actually, fun fact, the one thing I'm mentioning this moves in specifically was because Brick Break, which, funny enough, uh, during the time that I was generating this mod, for whatever reason, it didn't work out. And I had Brick Break originally on Incineroar to break all light screens that I had a feeling that Grand Snarl was actually going to bring on later on in the video. So I thought I'd mention it here because... That's one of the main reasons I did I brought that uh, that set on Cinderwar, but unfortunately it didn't play out, and I completely forgot about it when I had the match because I felt I had a lot of things to do that day, so I was just like, okay, let's get let's just do the this improvised last minute, and yeah, so I thought I would not point that out in this video. So yeah, that's the move sets, that's the team, and our opponent's team. I already mentioned it. And you know what's funny? I I said I was not going to go into detail of the team I brought. And yes, I'm a hypocrite of my own self. 
I, I found that hilarious. And this is the actual end of the video. So I went on talking about the team and I didn't want to talk about any other stuff. All right. So a, a key thing that I do want to point out in this video is, let's see, uh, two important uh, events. The first one I'll go I'll get out of the way since I already mentioned it in the video was the Reuniclus. The Reuniclus was freaking beast. All right. Call mine, call mine, call mine. If I had done that continuously and I had the right moveset, maybe store power would have made the cut and killed everything in its path except for physical mods. And then I just had to deal with recovery damage and that's about it and deal with that Grim Snarl, which honestly, I don't think Reuniclus has anything to hit the Grim Snarl unless I had like, let's see. Maybe like energy ball or something instead of like, I think I had, what, what was it? So I had recover, psychic, call mine, shadow ball. Instead of the psychic, maybe I could have run shadow ball. I mean, energy ball instead. So that could have been a possibility right there. But hey, we can always, we can always not be perfect, right? So yeah, that's one thing I do. I'm really proud of Reuniclus. So again. Uh, the Reuniclus had the Tonga Berry, and its one job in this whole entire match, which I knew he was going to bring it, was the Buzzle Wolf to take care of it. And I know it's, like, stupid to think that, because it's, like, as long as I could take a bug move, which I feel like it would have used it, I never predicted that Darkest Lariat to come, which, again, this is not in this video, but if you want to check it out, definitely go ahead and check out Healer's Perspective. You'll see that segment of what I'm talking about, and I love that moment. I killed it and it lived and I was just like, oh my god, my girl has got this. And once it went out, once Reuniclus like killed off the buzzer while I was just happy. That's it. Mission complete. That's all I was trying to do in this match. Honestly, when I was building this team, I was like, Buzzle and Reuniclus, let's get it. Sugumi, favorite character of Scarlet Nexus. I was just like, I did it. Mission complete. So that's one of the key points of this match. I really wanted to point out before I close off this video. So the second thing I do want to point out is that the slow bro set was freaking amazing. I cannot hate on it. It was so good. I don't want to go into details about the other Pokemons. Like Celesteela was pretty like, its name is Stickums. I think it was pretty <laughs> straightforward what that does. Zygarde, Captain Planet. Nothing too much interesting about it. I, honestly, the substitute did catch me off guard a little bit. Uh, the Thunderous, I didn't see too much about it. I have its moveset here, but nothing really just... Uh, puts me in interest to really point out. The Grimmsnarl does Grimmsnarl themes. For those who are not familiar with Grimmsnarl, it's basically the wall with light screens. That's all it is with Prankster. So nothing too interesting here, aside from like all the Pranksters, like all the non-status, or what is it, the non-attacking moves, like light screen, reflect, taunt. And the one that I, did, I guess that did trigger me some interest with the Burning Jealousy. I wonder how that was going to take effect, but there's that. And moving on to the final Pokemon, that one that I really just want to target a little bit of time, like 20 seconds, is this Slowbro. This, I mean, this Slowkeen. I, I think I've been saying Slowbro, but I meant Slowkeen. This Slowkeen was, I can't hate on it. Regenerator and Future Sight. I think that's an amazing combo. And like the core between this and the Celesteela was freaking fantastic. Again, you're not, you won't see it in this video, but definitely go ahead and check out Helios Perspective, which would be linked in the description below. Definitely go ahead and check that out. And that's all I really wanted to point out for this uh, for this match. And wow, it took me eight freaking minutes. Anyways, uh, here are some closing remarks. Uh, well, actually, before the closing remarks, let me talk a little bit about the future. So there's two current series going on the channel in this point in time. And that's my Scarlet Nexus series. So if you love RPGs, definitely go ahead and check that out. And I have amazing commentary. Uh, I, you know... I like to boast myself a little, so I'll, I'll definitely d encourage you guys to check that out because I really devote my whole heart into that series. And another series that I'm currently having on is actually the Versus with Monkferno, which I'm pretty sure you've been seeing it. So if everyone in the iBase knows about that, knows about Monk and everything, so definitely go ahead and check out that series. Amazing. The whole entire series is already uploaded onto YouTube on my house, so the finale is already set in stone. Hope you guys enjoy the series. For that one whenever the last episode goes out which will probably bring in sometime in the end of november sometime around there so yeah and also that's all my current series also about the future regarding like pokemon content such as this is this still going to be going on uh i honestly this type of pokemon content is going to be gone it's going to be gone for quite a amount of time until the next iba and if iba decides to accept me again into one of their leagues so with that, it all depends on the IBA. 
I'm not trying to do too much outside of like other like leagues or anything. This is not like what my channel wanted to be all about, all about Pokemon. I want to have a diversity. I want to do multiple different games and not just have, have Pokemon, Pokemon. I've been doing that for two to three years and I love Pokemon. I just don't want to do it every single time, uh, even though <laughs> the current, the next thing I'm going to be talking about is Pokemon. So for the future, I am going to be doing a live stream on BDSP, probably do it on YouTube and just leave it here. I don't know. Still debating about that. Another one, I do have another Pokemon versus content. It's actually two of them. It's going to be hilarious. Yeah, when when they release, it's just you, you'll get it. You will get it. They touch two different areas that I really wanted to touch. I'll, I'll spoil one of them. It does have to relate to uh, Diamond and Burrow. So definitely go ahead on the lookout for that one. And the other one is going to be a complete surprise because that was just out of nowhere, out of thin air, a project. And I felt like I had to do it. So yeah. So that's going to be uh, into the future. Uh, actually, I missed one thing. Uh, now that my Saturdays are now liberated from all IBA content, I will dedicate like anything that is not Pokemon related. So if you don't like anything that's in the channel currently, like uh, the two future projects that I'll have, if you don't like that, and it's because it's mainly going to be Pokemon, don't worry. New content, probably it could be anything, a combination of skits, maybe gameplay, I don't know, maybe anime talks, podcasts, something, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. So that's still in debate and definitely go ahead and check me out if you haven't already. So consider subscribing because there's a lot more content like that. So if you love anime, you love Pokemon, you love gaming, you love anime. I, I know I mentioned anime. Definitely go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already and like this video because I will like, I want to know how far people make it. So if you made it this far into the video and just put like, Hashtag Gizmo, I'm here. Literally, just say Gizmo, I'm here. I want to know if people made it this far into the video. And I really want to be just surprised on who did. So, if you could do me a solid with that, I'll greatly appreciate it. Anyways, uh, that's all I really want to point out. Because this video is literally going to be super long. And I don't need it to be as long as I need to be. it. Because uh, we're already 12 minutes. So, real quick, closing remarks. Thank you to all the commissioners that have been actually accepted me into this league. To my knowledge... It is slightly salty, West and Monferno, and I just want to say thank you to you three because, at least to my knowledge, I think it's just you three who are mainly like the big chiefs, the big mans for this. And I really want to take it the time to appreciate to bring me into this league. I've been a part of IBA's like I, again, I like to say first ever like they've done their first ever randomize randomizer chaos facility, the first doubles or VGC, and then yeah, that's it. So, or I'm probably missing something else. And wow, I went as long as more than the video itself. Lamel. Any, all right. So that's my cue to end off this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you haven't already liked this video, like the damn video. I copied another YouTuber. Frick it. Let's do it. I want to, I felt it in the moment. So yeah, this has been your random boy, Gizmo GX. And consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys randomies in the next one. Bye-bye. Also, oh, check out my Discord. I forgot Discord. There's going to be a link in the description below for this video only. So follow me on Discord because I'm going to be going ham on that. All right. Gizmo.